This review is of Sweet Lauren's Rich and Creamy Edible Brownie Batter Double Chocolate. Crafted with only clean ingredients, which I assume is a euphemistic way of saying it's like organic or sustainable. Non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, <laughs> peanut and tree nut-free. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's see. Safe to eat raw. That's my favorite. Eat it raw. Okay, so here are the nutrition facts. The ingredients are a little bit sh difficult to show you. And hopefully you've been able to see it all. Did I get it all? Non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, 100% whole grain, women-owned. Oh, women-owned. And it's parv. It's not for baking. You do need to keep it in the fridge. Now let's see, where's the release? There's the release. Oh, what a relief that I found the release. It doesn't have much of a smell to it. It kind of reminds me of uh, chocolate hummus. I certainly hope it doesn't taste like chocolate hummus because that was such a disappointment. Chocolate chunks. And what did they use other than oil? Cane sugar, oat flour, oat flour. There you go. All right, so <clears throat> it's pretty hard. I mean, it's like the consistency of fudge. And, yeah. One key difference is that there's a lot of unmelted sugar. So every bite is very crunchy. I'm a pretty fussy eater when it comes to chocolate and brownies. I'd be curious to see what this tasted like when it was baked. But since it's not designed to be baked, I can't do that. But I would say that. For me personally, <clears throat> I wouldn't get this again. But, you know, if you're one of those people who loves to eat raw um, brownie dough, I think this would probably work out just fine for most of you. If you're like a hardcore chocolate lover like me, um, not so much. It's not bad. It just doesn't meet my expectations or hopes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.